China's once-a-decade transfer of power begins November 8th, and for months, top Communist Party officials have been meeting in secret to decide who will be the country's next leaders. In this short video series, the New York Times' Beijing reporters look at some of the key issues facing China's 18th Party Congress. The transition of power comes after a stunning political scandal. One of the party's most charismatic leaders was tossed out on corruption charges after his wife was found guilty of murder. And as the people of China are voicing demands for government accountability. Certainly compared to the prior two Congresses, there was not as much pressure for change. Right now, there is more pressure from below percolating up from ordinary people to have more participation in the political system and above all, more transparency. They want better government regulation of simple things like food safety and, of course, the quality of air, of the environment. These basic questions loom as China's economy continues to grow and as the country takes a more central position on the world stage. Xi Jinping, the current vice president, will replace Hu Jintao as president. Xi is what's known as a princeling. He's the son of one of China's original revolutionary leaders, Xi Zhengxuan. As such, he has a network of people he grew up with who were among the revolutionary families of China. Xi Jinping is quite unusual. He's been to the United States three times, so he has more of a sense of what America was about than previous leaders. While there is pressure from within the country to enact social, political, and economic reforms, which have been echoed by the international community, the new leadership has been remarkably quiet about the prospects for change. Human rights is a particularly sensitive issue for the Communist Party because by relenting a bit on human rights, you're opening up the door for greater criticism of the party, which is a direct threat to its hold on power. 